Del Fox was brought back in the Teal Mask DLC, and this is the first time we have seen Del Fox since the 3DS games. The only question is, is it still any good? Today we're going to be rocking a Power Herb and Solar Beam set to throw off all Water, Rock, and Ground types. Once we activate the Power Herb, Del Fox's hidden ability Magician kicks in and takes our opponent's item. Stick around to the end because this one gets insane. Welcome, welcome, welcome back everyone to another live Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. How the heck are y'all doing today? Listen, man, today we have a battle against Dante in an amazing OU Mix Wi-Fi battle with our Magician Del Fox team. Be sure to head into the description below and join the Discord for a chance to take me on in a battle. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We have a goal of 50 likes on today's video, so help us out by leaving a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in the team preview against Dante. All right, so as you guys can see on your screen today, we're going to be taking on Dante in a nice and powerful OU Mixed Wi-Fi battle. And Dante has a pretty cool looking team, I'm not going to lie. Today, Dante is going to be bringing a Gallade, an Empoleon Arilla Boom, a Garchomp, a Tyranitar, and a Charizard. So pretty starter heavy team not gonna lie other than that has some huge threats and being Gallade, possibly choice scarfed uh rillaboom is gonna be a little bit of a problem for this team because that grassy glide is going to hurt uh and then last but not least uh the garchomp his own now hopefully his isn't a scale shot garchomp ours is so maybe that could come into play for us but you know what let's go ahead and lead off with pro pass just be actually you know what I'm going balls to the wall, dude. I'm going to lead off with Sawsbuck. I want Sawsbuck to do something just because uh, this set could be really good. And if I get a Swords Dance headbutt off, I think I'll be A-OK. -okay. So you know what? Off the rip, going first Swords Dance and just so I can big brain this guy. So without further ado, let's go jump into the Wi-Fi battle against Dante. Okay, so Dante is going to lead off with Chaos, the reliable partner, which is going to be the Gallade. We're going to go straight into Milwaukee. Actually, not the best matchup. I am not going to go balls to the wall against this thing just because I cannot do that. I cannot take a close combat to the face from a Gallade. Now, any other Pokemon, I'd be in there like swimwear. However, if I tear a normal with that guy, there's no way I'm living. So he goes for the Sacred Sword. We called it, boys. We called it. We knew that that was going to to happen so uh i don't see myself out speeding this thing however uh i'm gonna go for a hurricane just in case x scissor we live the x scissor baby let's go okay so we get the hurricane off that should be able to take out it's focus sashed be a shame like dude we seriously shouldn't vacuum wave right now like vacuum wave would be so stupid to take this thing out like, I'm not even, I, like, honestly, I'm not even going to click the button. <laughs> Get back, you waved. I knew it was going to come in clutch. Let's go. All right. So, cat laid down. One down. We still have Sawsbuck looking clean. Now, the only thing is, do I want to save Hisuian Braviary for the Tyranitar? They're going to go into Empoleon here. So... Do I go to Sawsbuck? Do I go to Sawsbuck is the question. I could go Tyranitar, or not Tyranitar, I could go Garchomp. However, I really don't know what I want to do, to be honest. Um, You know what? Let's go to Mr. Potato Head. We need to get Stealth Rocks up. We need to get Stealth Rocks up ASAP. And the thing is, if he goes for a Scald, an Ice Beam, we're going to be able to easily take it. Hopefully he goes for the Ice Beam. That would be really nice if we went for an Ice Beam. And we can scout if he has Ice Beam. He does have Ice Beam. So that's actually really good to know. So now uh, we're going to get a free set of rocks up, which is super nice. And on top of that, uh, a Scald will do a decent amount of damage, though, however. So that's going to be the only unfortunate part. So you know what? Let's go over the Stealth Rock here. Should be able to get a free set of rocks off. And then Charizard will be screwed. Actually, he swaps out. So we're going to get some free rocks up anyway. So going to go into Cerebus, which is going to be the Charizard. Charizard itself. Ew. Okay, not bad for us, actually. Not bad. The only thing is, is he, is he going to be a... Is he going to be a heavy-duty boot set? That's the only thing. Well, the good thing is here is we're back at full health, so we're going to get a free... A free 99 on that Volt Switch, baby. He's going to Focus Blast. Good thing... 
Great thing, we're sturdy. And on top of that, good thing we went for the volt switch. So that's gonna be good for us. Now, I don't know if this thing is heavy duty boots, man. The way he brought it in is so weird. Like what if I would've went for power gem or something? Weird play. However, not the worst case scenario for us. So uh, I could go to Im I could go to Bleezus here. I could go to Bleezus. However, that's not going to be a smart play. A smart play would be go to Sharkeisha. Sharkeisha would be the smartest play, just because we can get a scale shot off and we should be able to outspeed. So I'm going to go for that scale shot. We do outspeed and we go for the scale shot, perfect. Which is mean we're gonna be able to outspeed pretty much everything else on his side of the field. Now the only thing is, is uh, Rillaboom is gonna kinda suck just because it has grassy glide possibly with the grassy terrain. We don't like that too much. We don't like it too much this way. But uh, now that Charizard is gone, we could, hypothetically, go into Saw's Buck, and now that, again, the same thing. Now that the Gallade and the Charizard are gone, which are the two biggest threats to our um, Saw's Buck, not too bad of a time. So, the only thing is, is now he goes into this guy. Which, I feel like he's gonna Terra. I'm gonna go for a scale shot, just in, I got a feeling. Yeah, I knew he was gonna Terra. I knew he was gonna Terra, but the good thing is, we can at least see who he's gonna Terra into, and then plan from there. So, is he gonna be Terra Steel? He is Terra Steel like we predicted. Perfectly fine, not super worried about it. Um, the only thing is, does he have anything to take us out? Uh, we missed, so that's good. He has Dragon Claw, okay. And Dragon Claw just straight up takes us out. So, not worst case scenario. Not worst case scenario because we can actually go into Delphox. Who should be able to outspeed. And the good thing is I can also tear a grass on top of that. Hmm. I'm, you know what? I'm going to scare this thing out. I'm going to scare this thing out completely. So I'm going to go for the flamethrower. I'm going to go for the flame. Actually, I'm going to tear a grass here and then flamethrower just in case he goes for the earthquake. Del Fox, do your thing, baby. Do your thing. He stayed in, though. He did opt to stay in. So that's good to know. So... Mm. Mr. What are you doing there, Mr. Gurchomp? Uh, good thing is here is uh, it, uh, Actually, if we lose Delphox, it could be bad. So we do outspeed. We go for the flamethrower. And that takes out Garchomp. You love to see it, baby. You love to see it. So now, he, there's no way on earth he sends in Tyranitar. There's no possible way he sends in Rillaboom. Rillaboom would be a super weird switch in. I would be shocked if he switched in Rillaboom. He has to go in Polion here, right? King, the Im You ready for this? Are y'all ready for this? Del Fox, please come do your thing. Del Fox, do your thing, baby. Oh, baby, Del Fox, do your thing. Now watch, it is not gonna do as much because he's assault vested, probably. However, we're about to take that assault vest. We're about to take that assault vest like a champ. Perfect! That did a good amount of damage. Choice scarf! Hey, yo! Wow, that ice beam did a good amount of damage. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna go for the flamethrower. We go with the flamethrower, baby! And that should take it out! Let's go, Del Fox! Let's go, bruh! Dude, I'm telling you, Magician Del Fox is so freaking clutch. And the best part is here... The best part is we... Does he go for the Grassy Glide? Does he go for the Grassy Glide and does Grassy Glide take us out? Hmm. Okay. I gotta go Flamethrower here. He does go Grassy Glide. We live on eight! Let's go, Duff Ox! Let's go! Oh, yes! Yeah! Oh, no! Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Okay. Actually, not worst case scenario, because then, all right, so you know what? We're probably going to lose Del Fox here. Actually, look, what Pokemon? Okay, so he has the. He has the Tyranitar still and the Rillaboom. So you know what? Let's lose. Let's lose our boy here. Right? Let's lose our boy. 
And then what we can do now is we can go into the saws buck. Go for a... Mm, I don't know if I can go for a swords dance, though, man. I don't know if I can go for a swords dance. That's the only thing is I don't know if I can. However, let's go for a headbutt. Let's see how much it's doing. We get the headbutt off perfectly out speed, and that takes it out, baby. Saw's butt goes crazy. So now, the only thing is, is can I go for a swords dance on... Or can I go for the swords dance? That's the question. Oh, this is good. Okay, this is actually kind of going crazy for me. The only thing is, I don't know what this thing has for me. Um, I do have a zoomer on the back, so I'm really not worried about it. So I'm gonna go for a swords dance here. Battle was canceled. He knew it was happening. Bro, Del Fox just went absolutely crazy, bro. Del Fox just went crazy, bro. I might listen, bro. That's GG's. But Del Fox went crazy. All right, so you're probably wondering, Cypher, that was a really short Wi-Fi battle. You got to showcase Del Fox, but we want to see a little bit more. So you guys have been killing with the support recently. So I said, you know what? Let's throw in a bonus Wi-Fi battle on this one. And if we can hit 100 likes going further, then I'm going to start doing that for all my Wi-Fi battles. So be sure to smash that like button. Let's hit that 100. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the next Wi-Fi battle. All right, so as you guys can see on the screen today, we're going to be taking on Dia, who has a nice and powerful OU Mix Wi-Fi battle team, except for that Glide score, because they must have not got the memo that Glide score was banned to Ubers. However, uh, with this team, Glide score doesn't really give the, like the most like troublesome of like matchups just because we have a zoom rule for it uh, i'm pretty sure saws buck can kind of take it on if we get like a plus two swords in so today they're gonna be bringing a glide score a corvinite a muck a slither wing a halucha and a uh chandelier so pretty cool looking team not going to lie with you today we're gonna be bringing our magician power herb solar beam del fox team that we did build uh so leads for us right i think they're gonna personally lead off with hmm Personally, I think they lead off with the Corviknight. So you know what? Let's lead off. Actually, they could lead Gliscore. So you know what? If they're going to lead Gliscore, let's just go with the Zoomerl, honestly. Let's just straight up set up with that thing. I see why not to set up. And the thing is, a plus six, a plus six Aqua Jet, I think does like 75% to a Corviknight. So without further ado, let's go jump into the Wi-Fi battle against Dia. Okay, so Dia is going to lead off with Snape, which is going to be the Slitherwing. So... Good thing is for us is I'm pretty sure we can take on a um, a first impression. However, it could possibly be choice banded. So a part of me is telling me I want to go into Mr. Potato Head. But another part of me is telling me that I want to stay in with my Blizzus the Azumaro. The only thing is here is does a play rough take it out from this range? I think honestly I want to do it. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to go for the play rough here. They're going to withdraw Snape. The question is, do they go into the Corviknight? They're going to go into Huggin, which Huggin's going to be the Corviknight. Okay, so we did uh, decently predict that one. Not too bad. Are they going to be Rocky Helmet, though? They are going to be Rocky Helmet, very unfortunately. However, uh, I see this as an opportunity to go for a free Belly Drum. And the thing is, if uh, now that we do know that we outspeed, right? The thing is, if he doesn't take us out here... We can easily go for a knockoff and take out the Corviknight, which would be nice for us, which would be super nice for us. So uh, we're going to get back to 103 health. Does this thing take us out? They go for the body press, and that doesn't do anything to us. So super good for us. I'm going to go for a knockoff. Knockoff should be able to take this thing out. We are going to take a little bit of Rocky Helmet damage, and there we go, baby. Azumarill putting in the work, and that's one less start we have to worry about. So Corviknight being gone, super nice. Okay, so it looks like they're going to go back into Snape, which looks like it is going to be the Slitherwing. So, you know what? Um, do I want to keep this Azumarill around? I feel like it would be good just in case for the... Um, well, actually, I don't really know if I could take a close combat with my... Hmm. Question is, do I have anything to take on the Chandelier? Um, so, if it's not Choice Scarf Chandelier... If it's not Choice Scarfed... Hmm... If it's not Choice Scarf, we could easily take it on with Garchomp, per se. Because Garchomp does live a hit from that thing. 
Um, if he goes for the first impression, that's going to kind of suck. However, I'm going to go for an Aqua Jet just in case. So he does have first impression. That does unfortunately take out my boy here. However, uh, Slitherwing isn't the fastest Pokemon. And now that we've just seen that it's not um, Protosynthesis with a booster energy, it's looking like it could be banded. So that's not actually bad for us. Because now I could go into Delphox here, and Delphox could get off a huge Psy Shock. So that's exactly what I'm actually gonna do. I feel I feel like this thing is choice banded. I feel like this thing is choice banded hardcore. And the thing is, is I I'm gonna go for the Psy Shock, expecting him to go into the Chandelier. Do I do that though? Hmm. Yeah, I think a Psy Shock should do a lot of damage. So they are gonna withdraw Snape. I feel like they go into Chandelier to try to do the Flash Fire shenanigans. Hanzo, that's for sure going to be a chandelier, which means it's... Oh, no, it's not a chandelier. Okay, well, that's just threw me through a loop. Uh, however, how much is this side shock doing? That's going to do absolutely nothing to this guy, which does kind of stink, not going to lie. However, um, I do have... I could go Braviary. I could definitely go Braviary. Or I could go Sawsbuck. You know what? I'm going to go Sawsbuck here. I'm going to go Sawsbuck, and the reason why I want to go Sawsbuck is just because if I go Sawsbuck, I can probably get a plus one, or sorry, a Swords Dance off, and if we get a Swords Dance off, we can outspeed this thing, which he unfortunately does go for the knockoff here, knocks off our Heavy Duty Boots, not the worst case scenario, uh, and honestly, I have a free, I have a free Swords Dance here, I'm going to go for the free Swords Dance to be honest, so they are going to withdraw Hanzo, who do they go into is the question, probably Muck, correct? Saya, Saya is going to be... The Chandelier. Okay, so. Um, hmm. The way he brought this thing out makes me think that he's going to be... The way he brought this thing out makes me think that he's going to be Choice Scarfed. So if he's going to predict me to swap out to possibly Delphox, I'm going to Terra Normal here, and I'm going to go for the Stomping Tantrum. Please, please do that. Please, 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 please do that. That's what we need. I'm really banking on him doing that. I'm really banking. And if not, hopefully we can take a flamethrower. Because it's not going to be super effective anymore. So going for this Terra Normal is actually really good. So he does go for the flamethrower here. Does that take us out? Alright, so we just Terra Normal for nothing, unfortunately. Which does, yes, kind of stink. Uh, however... This gives me a chance to go into Sharkeisha. And Sharkeisha is not a bad play just because he's locked in, obviously, now. He, we know for a fact that he's locked in because he's Choice Scarf. So, uh, now that Corviknight's dead, at least a Scale Shot should be do, able to do a lot of damage. So, I'm going to go for a Scale Shot here. Uh, he's probably going to swap out. I don't know what he swaps out into. It, that one's gonna be a tough one for him to know what he swaps into. But if we can get up with uh, with Garchomp to at least plus one speed, should be able to outspeed a lot of stuff. So he just opts to go for the flamethrower. That's gonna do a decent amount of damage, just about a little over a quarter. We're gonna get the free scale shot off, perfect, and that should, if we get five, in theory, be able to take on the chandelier. However, mm, unless we get a kill here, no, it lives on one. However, we should be able to outspeed this thing. Now that being we're plus one, hopefully. So here I'm gonna go for a. I'm gonna go for an. Hmm. I'm gonna go for an earthquake here, just in case. Yep, we do outspeed, perfect. And that's Chandelier gone, which Chandelier is a huge threat to Delphox. So now that thing is gone, we can get a lot of big flamethrowers off. So that's actually really good for us. Okay, so they are gonna go into Snape, which Snape is a little bit of a problem. However, not the biggest problem because now I can just straight up go into Probo Pass here, which Probo Pass is probably gonna take on the uh, first impression really well. And again, I'm seeing that this thing is banded. 100% it's gonna be banded. So first impression is gonna hurt a little bit. Not too bad though, which is super nice. And honestly, I think I need to get Stealth Rocks up here. I think getting up Stealth Rocks would be more beneficial for us. So, yeah, Stealth Rocks are going to be huge here. They're going to swap out 100%. They're going to swap out 1,000% not even thinking about it. Yep, there it is. This is telling me that it's banded. 100% it's telling me that it's banded. All right, so they're going to go into Hanzo here, which Hanzo, not the worst, not the worst thing to go up against. Um, however, if we can get this thing weak, that would be nice. 
Um, question is here is do, do they go for the knockoff or do they go for the earthquake? Do they go knockoff or do they go earthquake? Um, hmm. Okay. Let's go for a Dazzling Gleam just in case they go for Earthquake. They are going to go for that Earthquake. That's perfectly fine because now... Oh, wow. We actually lived. Okay. So that's actually really nice for us. That was really nice for us. Um, however... Hmm. The question is, do I swap? I don't think I swap because I think they go for a knockoff because they know it's a guarantee hit. So I'm going to go for a Dazzling Gleam. I feel like it'll be nice. Yep. They go for the knockoff. That's perfect. Uh, so that's actually decent for us because now we can straight up go into Garchomp here. And honestly, mm, Gliscor is kind of a threat. Gliscor is kind of a threat. All right, I'm going to go into Dark Shadow. I'm going to go into Dark Shadow. And the reason why I want to go into Dark Shadow is because I know I can outspeed. And being said that I can outspeed, I know I can get a huge hurricane off. So let's get a hurricane off here. We should be able to outspeed. We do, which is kind of telling me this is a defensive Gliscor. Ooh, and that puts it in range. Perfect. He goes for the Toxic. Love that. I love that he went for the Toxic. Because, again, as long as we can whittle a lot of stuff down, we should be able to take on the the Braviary pretty nicely. Or not the Braviary, but the um, the uh, Slitherwing. So, I'm going to go for a Psychic here. It should be able to take this thing out. He goes for the Protect. Perfectly fine. Don't care about that. Um... And, and the Toxic can just kind of take us on. We're not worried about that thing at all. I am a little bit worried about a Slitherwing with first impression. If it's banded, that could be a little bit bad. However, some Stealth Box on that thing won't be too horrible. So you know what? Let's go for a Psychic here. It should be able to take out Gliscor. Should. There it is. Perfect. Love to see it. Uh, and the Psychic should take out the, the Gliscor, which is nice. All right. We're not sitting too horrible. We're not sitting too horrible at all. The only thing is, is a Slitherwing is going to possibly come out and ruin our lives. All right, so they're going to go into Ray, which Ray is going to be the Halucha. Okay, this is where things can get a little shaky. I'm going to go for a Psychic just in case. They are going to Terra here. Question is, what do they Terra into? Terra Flying, possibly? Possibly Terra Flying. It is going to be Terra Flying, okay? Uh, which means probably... They go for the Sky Attack to get the Unburden. They do go to the Sky Attack, okay. Um, hmm. Hmm. The odds of us living this, not too great, to be honest. However, we could probably go into... Probably go into Garchomp here. Probably could go Garchomp. Hmm. Huh. All right, let's go to Garchomp here. Let's go to Garchomp. And the reason why I want to go into Garchomp here is because if we can get a scale shot off, we should be able to take this thing out. Which then he sends in the Slitherwing. I think it's going to come down. Oh, yes, Acrobatics. Okay, does Acrobatics take us out? I don't think it does. It does not take us out, which is super nice. We get the rough skin off, and hopefully this loaded dice scale shot takes this thing out. It should from this range. Should, hypothetically. There we go. Paulucha out, which is super nice. The only thing is, is can Delphox come in here and live? Ah, man. Can Delphox live? Because he has to send in Slitherwing here, correct? He has to send in Slitherwing. Like, there's no shot on this earth that he doesn't send in Slitherwing. Because the last Pokemon shouldn't be able to outspeed. They're going to go into Snape, which is going to be this thing. So what last Poke... Okay, he has Muck as well as his last Pokemon. So you know what? Uh, let's go for a Scale Shot here. He does go for that first impression. If Delphox can win this matchup here against the Muck. Because a Psy Shock is going to be able to take this thing out. So it's going to come down to if we can live... If we can live... A first, or sorry, a first impression because he's gonna swap out here. He is banded, so I'm gonna go for a side shock here. He's gonna withdraw Snape, goes into Muck. We should be able to two shot Muck. Should be. So Stink Sun's gonna come. Oh my gosh, I'm just hoping and praying because he did save some stealth rock damage as well. So we're gonna go for side shock. Okay, and that does a lot of damage. Does he have Shadow Sneak? I just realized. If he has Shadow Sneak, that's gonna suck. 
So let's go for a Psy Shock here. He does not have... Okay, so he does it. So if we can live a first impression from the, from the Slitherwing, we, we should be okay. Now the question is, do I go for a Flamethrower? I think I have to go for a Flamethrower, right? He's going to take some Stealth Rock damage, which is nice. Mmm, do I live it though? Oh, do I live this? Okay, let me check Slitherwing's defense real quick, because I think Slitherwing has some pretty decent defenses, actually. So maybe Psyshock's not the play. Slitherwing has a base 79 defense, so actually its special defense is, more, is better. So Psyshock might be the play. Psyshock's the play. First impression? No, dude, it was so close! Oh, Choice Bandit Slitherwing for the win. All right, well, that was, good. that was a super good game. That was a super good game. I think we got to show off Delphox pretty decently. Delphox didn't do horrible. Just, ah, oh, man, I really thought Stealth Rocks would be doing a little bit more to that thing. But again, that's going to be GG's D, a super fun game. Here is going to be the rental code for the team we used in today's Wi-Fi battle. The Poke Pace will be in the description as well. Don't forget to leave a like on today's video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more Pokemon battles. And let me know in the comments of some Pokemon you want to see us build a team around. Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and start working on the next set of Wi-Fi battles. So please give yourselves a great morning, night, evening, day, wherever you're at. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.